everyone, Jan Furston here from Furston House. Um, <laughs> it's been about two and a half months and I haven't done any videos. I have been doing some creating, but uh, I have not been doing any videos. We've been uh, in and out of the country a couple of times and doing a lot of visiting and then there was Christmas and Thanksgiving. So here it is already the middle of January, hard to believe. But anyway, um, what I've been doing is... In addition to some journals, some special orders, I've been working on some ephemera that I really enjoyed. I love working on ephemera. I think almost, probably more than I like working on journals. Um, it's just fun and easier and it's faster. So anyway, what I've done is made uh, two packets of ephemera. And um, those will be for sale on my Etsy shop. I'll put the link below. So let's just go ahead and look at them. Um, this set has six large pieces, and then three of the pieces have smaller pieces in the inside them. So a, a total of nine pieces, actually. In addition to, I've just used some old lace and um, just wrapped it around there. And let me just move this aside, make sure I'm still in, put that out of the way, make sure I'm still in focus here. Um... Okay, here is one piece that I have used. Now you can use this a couple of different ways. I've just put some lace on there and some of that cream leaf ribbon. I love that ribbon. You can put this over a page. For instance, if you have a journal page, you can um, come along and you can put it over here like that. Or you can put it here, however you want. So that's the first piece. And here is the second piece. And this one is one that has one piece inside it. That is antique lace that is so fragile. I love it. Um, and I'm, I'm just trying to use it sparingly, but it, it's just beautiful. And then some flowered ribbon here. The reverse is for journaling. And here is a little pocket that I've made. I got these um, these designs from Patricia Viramontes. I'll put her link below. She makes some fabulous pockets. And um, I got all of these ideas from her. And how this works, it literally goes over the journal page like that. You could do it sideways if you wish. And then there's a little pocket in there. You can put your own ephemera in there as well. That's how that works. And then this page, this side has uh, journaling space. And there's some old, uh, some vintage lace here. So that's that one. And here we have, similar to the first one, but it's just a different shape. It's using the tag shape. And I've used a combination of antique, vintage, and new <laughs> laces on this one. This piece actually is belonged to my grandmother. And... Um, it's very special to me, but I'm trying not to hoard it all to myself. I am trying to use some of it. She believed in using it. And and then this side, of course, you can use your journaling uh, for. Or use this for journaling. I'll get it out. But there we have that piece. And again, that just goes over the page. And um, here we have another piece. This one, again, a pocket here. The reverse is for journaling and again that's some more of my grandmother's lace and inside the little pocket I've had a, just a little miniature card book I don't know booklet whatever you want to call it just sweet 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 and it goes right in there and you can if you wanted you could actually glue this into a book glue here here and here and use that as a pocket or you could glue it here and here, and you can have a pocket here, however you want to do it. You can put them in with um, paper clips, and then you don't, you still have the use of the reverse for journaling. And here, I basically use the concept of a checkbook folder, or holder, checkbook cover, that's it. Yeah. Um, and so there that is. Journaling space here, and again, you could just put that on the side, or on the top, or just inside um, the the journal. You could even cut it in half if you want and glue it down and use it uh, as pockets. Entirely up to you. And this second piece, or the, I'm sorry, the final piece, just put some ribbon on the back there. Journal space top and bottom. 
and a pocket there. This is antique lace. Both of these pieces, beautiful old antique lace that I got for a song. I was so thrilled at a, a local antique shop, kind of like a, an antique mall with different stalls. So there's the pocket, and then on the here is the, the journal card that goes in there. Okay. So that one is lace. They will be, uh, again, listed on my Etsy shop, and they will be uh, listed individually. And this uh, second one that I have is uh, boho. <laughs> Very boho. Um, and it was a lot of fun to work with. Just tied it with a ribbon. The, the shapes of the pieces are um, identical, I believe, for the most part. Well, let's just find out. But anyway... Um, but it is definitely different in that it's not using the laces, but all these wild and crazy and fun um, bits and pieces. So there's the first one. These are so much fun to make. You're, you're literally using tiny pieces that you've cut off and used other things for, and it's, it's just fun. And journal space here. And here's the card shape that we had earlier. I like it because no matter how small the piece is, you can still use it. So it's really nice to be able to recycle. And here we have the one that fits over the page. You can do it this way over the page or you can do sideways over the page. Inside is a little card. And then on the reverse is journaling space. Some of these fabrics, you know, I, I save fabric bits and think, oh, I'm I'm going to get rid of these, I'm going to, and I, but I can't part with them, and I, well, now we know why I didn't part with them. And here is the, uh, similar to like a checkbook uh, cover. And again, if you wanted, you could cut this in half, glue in certain sides, use them as pockets, do, you know, however you want. And here is this piece where it just goes down over the page. Some yummy colors. This one has, let's see, there are a total of six large pieces and two with small pieces in. So it's one small, yeah, I'm sorry, two small pieces inside the others. And then this is the final one. Again, journal space here. I think I showed you all the journal space on that, on this last one. And then on here, journal space, journal space here, and just sliding it in there. So... As I said, these are um, going to be listed in my Etsy shop. They'll be sold individually. Um, I would love to hear from you. If you have any comments, questions, um, please leave them below. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's January the, goodness, the 12th already, and it's about 50 degrees. Yesterday it was 70-something, and we had tornado watches and warnings all over the place. So we've improved. The sun's out, and it's beautiful outside. I hope you're all having a lovely day, and I hope you have a, a fantastic week. Take care. God bless.